guys, it is Thursday, June 9th, 2022, and we have 11 new mods and I think three updates to take a look at today. So the first one we're going to take a look at is the Crawler Loader Lee Bear 622 pack uh, by Black Sheep Modding, 19.02 megabytes to download and install. The Crawler Loader Lee Bear 622 with six tools. We live the agricultural... We lived the agriculture of the 90s. Jeez, okay. So we have the 622 Latronic. Price is $58,000. 275 horsepower. Max speed is 20 miles per hour. This is going to take up nine slots. We have the shovel. $3,000. 3,500 liters. This is going to take up one slot. The manure fork is $2,900. Capacity is 2,500 liters. And that's going to take up two slots. Um, then we have the Libre Log Fork. Um... Hmm. I did not see that in there actually. So what I have is a silage fork. That's what it says in the actual in-game shop. So I'm guessing that must be the log fork. $3,600, 2,500 liters. That's also going to take up two slots. Um, then we have the forestry mulcher, $6,500. Max working speed three miles per hour working with three meters. That's going to be three slots. We have the Liber 3000 kilogram weight, $1,500. Of course, it's 3000 kilograms. That's going to take up one slot. And then we have the Plow 3, $4,500. Max working speed, 12 miles per hour working with three meters. And that is going to take up two slots. That is the Crawler Loader Liber 622 pack by Black Sheep Modding. So I'm not a fan of cab overs, but this one actually looks really cool. This is the AW362 cab over by Adams Kong. This is going to be 21.20 megabytes to download and install. It's going to take up 11 slots. The perfect semi truck for all jobs with an engine that goes from 330 horse with the DD60 to 1800 horse with the 8V92 by Turbo. Price $30,000. Engine options um, are actually like we just said. Gearbox options, uh, 11 speed, 13 speed, 15 speed, and 18 speed. Short and long chassis options, 13 exhaust configurations, 12 fender variations, 9 bumper configurations, plus deflector and strip options. Let's just take a look at that. That is that is a decent looking truck right there. I do like that one as well. That is the AW362 cab over by Adams Kong. We have yet another truck here. We have the Mac Pinnacle 64R by ARM team 11.60 megabytes to download and install this is going to take up 18 slots the pickles 64 r is a green truck that can move all of your greens easily and comfortably features wheel configurations body color rim color design color ladder configurations green capacity 22,000 liters price ranges from 15 157 thousand dollars i'm sorry about that as the mac pinnacle 64 r by arm team here we have the Garford Robocrop by Universe Simu Modding, 17.59 megabytes to download and install. So we have three different models. We have the Sunflower model, which is going to take up five slots. We have the Sugar Beet model, that's going to take up, um, no, I mean, I'm sorry, the Sunflower and Sugar Beet both take up six slots, and the Corn takes up five slots. These machines are ideal for use in a lot of cultures with fixed inter-row. Uh, they combine lightness and robustness for efficient working in all cultures and in all conditions. Uh, three models possible, nine rolls for sunflowers, six rolls for corn, 12 rolls for beets. $23,200 is the starting price and power requirement is 90 horsepower and up. That is the Garford Robocrop by Universe Simu Modding. Here we have the Lizard HBT2 by David.MTNZAM modding. 8.38 megabytes to download and install. This is going to take up 8 slots. Capacity 24,300 liters, price $25,000, and it has wheel configurations. Here we have the 30 foot flatbed trailer by Mac Trucker 921. 14.94 megabytes to download and install. It's going to take up 10 slots. Uh, flatbed trailer with tipper and logging options. Trailer frame, rims, tipper body, log forks, cover, and steel deck are all colors selectable. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of different options here that if you guys really want to, you can uh, pause the video right now and you can read all of that. There's a three foot flatbed trailer by Mac Trucker in 921. Next up is the Lizard LT679 short log trailer by FSG Modding. 3.82 megabytes to download and install. This is going to take up five slots. 
$15,000, hitch options, straight trailer, drop neck, low trailer, goose neck, optional toolbox, rear hitch, and fenders, color configurations. That is the Lizard LT679 short log trailer by FSG Modding. Here we have the split rail wooden fence gates by Mac Trucker 921, 1.81 megabytes to download and install. These are all going to take up one slot. We have 2.2 meter split rail wooden fence panel, 150 bucks, 2.7 meter split rail single wooden fence gate, $200, and the 5.2 meter split rail double wooden fence gate is repriced at $400. Here we have the garage 28 by 11, 7 by 750 Ti modding and Michael LS. 9.55 megabytes to download and install. This is going to take up 26 slots. Price is $35,000. Daily upkeep is $30. It says it is a garage in an old European style. Next up is the in-ground liquid manure tanks by Mantra. 2.62 megabytes to download and install. These are going to take up 14 slots. These liquid manure tanks are built into the ground and features a grow safe green lighting with options for white or no lighting and customizable slab textures with mesmerizing slurry animation it's a nice place to sit back and relax and perhaps go bobbing for apples. Okay, so Mantrid is a uh, is a comedian because that uh, sounds pretty horrible. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we have buildings and silos, in-ground manure tank, $65,000 plus around $4,000 earthworks capacity, 500,000 liters. Um, then we have the deep in-ground liquid manure tank. This is going to cost $130,000 plus around 20,000 earthworks and it's going to hold 2,000 liters of the uh, the liquid manure that apparently he likes to sit by and, and just uh, ad admire the the relaxing movement of it. That is the in-ground liquid manure tank by Mantrid. Last new mod for today is the packing facility by Cookie Cat. 39.18 megabytes to download and install. The actual packing facility is going to be 13 slots. The cell point is going to be one slot. All the other buildings are going to be the uh, exact same slot count as the, uh, the the base game versions. So this mod aims to motivate players to produce everything the game has to offer. The packing facility is a production facility that packs every product produced at the end of each production chain. That's a lot of words that begin with the letter P in that sentence. All products need to be packed into three categories. Foods, objects, and liquids. Seven factories are added that make six new products. The pallets are movable by hand. Storage has been extended to about 2 million liters. A lot faster production times and cheaper costs. So it says notes. Individual packages can be sold at around 50 to 150,000. All depends on difficulty level, time of year. If it's a great demand, all packages can be combined to produce reputation. This is very interesting. Reputation awards you for combining all the different packages by selling for around $200,000 to $600,000. Again, all depends on difficulty level, time of the year, and if it's in great demand, it's more. Important to produce reputation, you need to set foods, objects, liquids to distribution. So that's, that's a very interesting mod indeed. That is the packing facility by Cookie Cat. All right, so moving on to today's updates, we have an update to the John Deere 959M. Fixed issue with brake force, fixed track going faster than it should, fixed leveling not working, forward, backward, adjust wheel physics to behave better. The CR600 got an update, fixed warning for AI area, related to patch 1.4.1.0. And the last update for today is for the Coverland CLE430, Added color configurations, change desk version to 65. So those are all the mods and updates for today, guys. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I hope you've had a fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.